today we're going to learn about what makes up life on Earth, and they're called cells. There are two main types of cells, animal cells and plant cells. Today I'm going to tell you about animal cells. In this video, you're going to see the structure of the cell, the organelles inside the cell, and the functions each organelle performs in the cell. This is the cell membrane. The cell membrane is a semi-permeable membrane structure that surrounds the cell. The membrane is semi-permeable, meaning it only allows certain substances to enter and leave the cell. We have now added to the picture cytoplasm. Cytoplasm is what fills up all the space within the cell membrane. It is said to be a jelly-like substance. It holds all the cell organelles except for the nucleus. We are now going to zoom in so we can more closely observe the organelles inside our cell. We have now added the nucleus and nucleolus to our cell structure. The cell nucleus is also referred to as the control center of the cell. The nucleus houses the cell's DNA, which provides the cell with its unique genetic characteristics. While DNA is similar in every cell, but depending on the cell type, certain genes may be turned on or off, and that is what makes the cell unique. The nucleolus is inside the nucleus, and it holds protein and RNA. It is responsible for RNA synthesis and the formation of ribosomes. The little dots you now see throughout our cell are called ribosomes. Ribosomes can be found all throughout the cell in the cytoplasm or can be attached to surfaces on the endoplasmic reticulum. They are the site of protein manufacturing. They connect amino acids one at a time to make up proteins. The two new structures you see next to the nucleus are called the endoplasmic reticulum, or ER for short. The ER is one structure but with two different parts, the smooth and rough ER. The endoplasmic reticulum as a whole is involved in synthesis, modification, and transport of cellular materials. The smooth and rough portions of the ER synthesize lipids, carbs, and control calcium concentration in the cell. The rough portion of the ER is different than the smooth because it is studded with ribosomes. The new oval shape above our nucleus is called a lysosome. Lysosomes can be found in the cytoplasm of the cell. They contain enzymes that digest particles like protein or other large molecules. Also, when the cell dies, they disintegrate it. The two new structures you see at the top of our cell are called vesicles. Vesicles can be found throughout the cytoplasm of the cell and usually near or on the cell membrane. They are bubble-like membrane structures that store and transport cellular products and digest waste within the cell. We have now added the googly apparatus to our cell structure. The googly apparatus can be found in the cell cytoplasm. The googly apparatus is a stacked, layered structure of flattened sacs, or vesicles, that store and modify proteins for specific functions, and then prepares them for transport to other parts of the cell. We have now added mitochondria to our cell structure. The mitochondria can be found in the cell cytoplasm. They are referred to as the powerhouse of the cell because they act as a site for production of high energy compounds, which are vital energy sources for several cellular processes that will occur. The two structures you see by one of the mitochondria and by our nucleus are called centrioles. They can be found in the cytoplasm of the cell. Centrioles are extremely important to the cell when it begins to divide into two new cells. Centrioles are made up of mycotubules and can be found near the nucleus. The last structure we're going to add to our cell is called microtubule. Microtubules are found in the cell cytoplasm. They make up the centrioles and are composed of proteins that will help define cell structure and movement. Microtubules are thick and strong spirals of sunbunnance, a type of protein. I have now talked about every organelle in the animal cell structure regarding what they do and where they are located. As you can see in the diagram we created, all of the parts in the cell work in harmony together to create such an important part of our everyday lives. If you are interested in learning more about animal cells, you can look up two processes that animal cells will undergo called mitosis and meiosis. You can also look up the plant cell structure and compare and contrast how it is different from our animal cell structure we created today. Thanks for watching!